scientific evidence shows we live in a universe where the interactions between systems of matter literally make our world go round. Atoms, people, populations of animals, and other systems of matter, large and small, are constantly influencing one another. Our biosphere is a combination of these generally complex interactions. To help appreciate the hidden complexity in nature, we will investigate the interactions between two simple systems, A and B. They are specified mathematically so we can study exactly how they interact. The evolution of system A is specified by this equation, which says that as system A evolves by way of a step and repeat process, also known as an iterative process or recursive process, the value of the variable A at step n plus 1 depends on the values of A and B at the preceding step n and on parameters x and y which represent other positive or negative influences on systems A and B, respectively. System B also depends on A, B, X, and Y, but the B terms are multiplied by each other, as are the A terms, and system B has a constant. We will investigate how these systems evolve alone and how they evolve together. First, we will see how system A evolves alone when B is always zero. How variable A evolves depends on X and Y, so we will try different combinations of X and Y. We will start with X equals 1 and Y equals 1, and can see that during step number 1, variable A changes from its starting value of 0 to its ending value of minus 2. System A then stays at minus 2, regardless of the number of steps n. The symbol A sub L means the limit of A, when A stays essentially the same from one step to the next. We can also find A sub L when X equals 1 and Y equals minus 1, which is plus 2 as shown. We can find A sub L for other combinations of X and Y and then record these values of A sub L on an XY coordinate system as shown, where the red numbers are negative. The values to which variable A quickly evolves are lower near the X and Y axes, and this can be shown graphically by the following cross-shaped pattern. The black area is where A sub L is less than 0.1, the gray area is where A sub L is between 0.1 and 1, and the white area is where A sub L is more than 1. This shape, where the values of A are lower along the X and Y axes, affects how system A will interact with system B. System B has much different characteristics. At most locations on the XY coordinate system, B does not quickly evolve to a fixed value. This figure shows a few locations on the X and Y axes where B does quickly become 2 or remain at 0. At the origin, B slowly evolves toward plus 0.5, and at plus 1 and minus 1 on the X and Y axes, B slowly evolves towards minus 0.5 as shown. B sub L is positive in the center black area and negative in the purple area. In the outer black area, B evolves in many different ways, and outside the black area, B evolves toward infinity. This round pattern of stability for system B will also influence the shape of the stability pattern for the interaction between systems A and B. What shape pattern do you think the interaction between systems A and B will produce? The lower values of A along the X and Y axes might cause the circular pattern of B to be longer along the axes than in the diagonal directions. 
This is what actually occurs, as shown in this pattern of stability for the interaction of systems A and B at each step of the iterative process. This pattern of stable interactions is a perfect diamond shape. The border lines between the stable interaction of A and B and the unstable interaction are diagonal lines connecting the plus and minus 1.5 unit locations on the x and y axes. Therefore, the equation x plus y equals 1.5 specifies a line of transition between stable interactions and unstable interactions. Along the x and y axes of this pattern, a sub l is always zero. This figure shows the value of A sub L and B sub L at various locations. The number above the location is A sub L and the number below is B sub L. For example, at the location X equals 0.4 and Y equals 0.3, A evolves to minus 0.3 and B evolves to 0.1 as shown in this figure and also in this table showing the evolution of A and B during the first 200 iterations when X equals 0.4 and Y equals 0.3. The simplicity of the perfect diamond pattern belies the great variety and complexity of the interactions between systems A and B at different locations, which are responsible for the pattern. We will discuss some of this variety and complexity, starting with the black and gray squares around the center of the pattern. At any point within the black and gray squares, the values to which variables A and B converge are easily predicted by these simple equations. In the area surrounding the black and gray squares, the interaction between A and B becomes increasingly complex. The wide white band shows where A and B each oscillate between two values rather than converging to a single value. And the smaller black band shows where A and B each oscillate between four values. In this enlarged 0.8 unit square area, the narrow white band shows where A and B each oscillate between eight values. Presumably, this doubling of the number of values between which A and B oscillate in progressively narrower bands never ends. The pattern of interactions gets more complex near the vertices of the diamond. This image shows a 0.2 unit square area at the top of the diamond. The white areas show the amount of change in variable A during two iterations the whiter areas indicating more change. This is the same location on the pattern and shows the combined change in both A and B. And this is an area two billionths of a unit square at the top of the diamond. This is a similar size area along the right edge of the tip. Given the great variety of interactions between systems A and B, it is surprising that the resulting pattern of stable interactions is a perfect diamond shape. We will now make one change to system B by changing the sign between the B and A terms from a plus sign to a minus sign as shown. This change in system B causes its stability pattern to change from the black disk to an X-shaped pattern when A is held at zero. Along the y-axis, the values of B are the same as for the black disk and diamond pattern. How do you think this change to system B will affect its interaction with system A and change the diamond pattern? The interaction between systems A and B now results in a pattern of stability, which, like the pattern for system B, has two identical halves and is symmetrical about the x and y axes. This pattern is known as the duality pattern. It reflects the fact that two values in nature and in our system of mathematics, which is generally in accord with nature,
do not change when multiplied by themselves. These two values are 0 and 1. The values of a sub l and b sub l along the y axis of this pattern are the same as for the system b patterns and for the diamond pattern. The duality pattern is related to Julia and Mandelbrot patterns into which it can be changed as shown. The changes cause some of duality's features to be lost. Like Julia patterns, duality has two identical halves. Attached to these two sub-patterns are smaller scale versions to which still smaller scale versions are attached. This repeating at smaller scales appears to never end. The pattern is symmetrical about the X and Y axes, just like the patterns for systems A and B. Among the extraordinary features of this pattern are the main disks, which are exactly one unit in diameter. At any point within the main disk, A sub L and B sub L are easily determined as shown by the equations. At any location within the main disk, A and B each converge to a single value. At any location within the next largest disks, a and B each oscillate between two values. Within the next largest disks, A and B each oscillate between three values. And this increasing complexity within smaller disks continues at smaller and smaller scales. By counting and numbering the disks, it is easy to determine for all locations in any disk the number of values between which variables A and B will continuously oscillate. The rates at which A and B converge toward their limits are generally slower toward the periphery of the main disks. This is shown by the following images where the whiteness in the main disks indicates how fast A and B are approaching their limits. The spiky images indicate the rates of convergence during the fifth iteration and tenth iteration. The smoother image shows the average rate of convergence over many iterations. This information about the perfect diamond and duality processes and patterns is not generally known because it has not been published in any journal. If you know someone interested in math, physics, uh, puzzles, fractals, or philosophy, they might find this information of interest. This explanation is far from complete, and the PeterAllport.com website contains additional information on this and other subjects pertaining to how we understand and misunderstand nature. The Interacting Systems page at this website discusses the duality process in more detail, and it includes a program that can be downloaded to produce various parts of the duality pattern such as this number three disk at x equals 0.5 and y equals 0.8. The perfect diamond and duality processes are closely related. They are the result of ideal, mathematically precise, interacting systems A and B. The patterns have an unusual combination of perfection and complexity. These ideal systems help understand that the evolution of material systems in nature can be very complex and difficult to predict. They help understand that every system affects the other systems with which it interacts, whether the systems are mathematical or physical systems such as atomic particles in an atom or people in social groups or planets in a solar system. They help appreciate the connection between nature and our evolved system of mathematics, which is necessary for understanding nature, as Galileo proclaimed nearly 400 years ago. Thank you for the opportunity to interact with you via this video and mathematics.